Hi everyone, so I'm about to share another journal with you. Um, this is a envelope flip flap cover journal. Um, it's a shabby vintage. Um, it measures eight and a half by four and a half. It has one signature, 44 pages front and back. Um, if you watched um, my live last night, I'd made a few tags. Um, and then I made some afterwards as well. And they've all been added into this. Uh, this will be listed in my shop if you're interested. So I've used various different things in this. I've used um, the Shabby Grungy Traveller's Notebook Kit from My Porch Prints. I have used um, bits from Artie Maze as well. I'll mention that as I go through. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking here. So this was one of the tags that I made. I can't remember. I think there's, I made this one um, on the live video last night. It's the video before this one if you wanted to go and check it out. Um, it was a good size to use as a topper. But what I did was I only glued the top along here and the bottom there so that I could slip the ribbon through there. And you can also tuck things inside there if you wanted to. Um, so you've got a little bit of space to maybe tuck something in or tuck it that way. Anyway, so um, the tag has been layered up. We've got music paper. There's other papers that you can't see now because I've literally layered on top of it. Uh, tickets here from Artie Mays. The butterflies are Artie Mays. Uh, she's a moustache. The word here is a freebie from Artie Mays and there's cheesecloth um, all around. So you just simply pull that. And if you wanted to take that off, you could do, but it's just a closure. So that's the flip there um so on this first flip and obviously these are the covers being made out of four envelopes um i said i was going to do a live either tonight or tomorrow well i'm going to do one tomorrow because um i'm going to do um i'm going to prep tomorrow another uh tn size journal and i'm going to on the video just show you how to do the cover. I'll have everything else ready, hopefully. <laughs> um, and just show you how to do the cover and, and cover it and add pockets, etc. So anyway, we've got a top tuck here. Use one of the little um, tags from the Shabby Grungy kit from My Porch Prints. Oh, this is Tracy Fox as well. Field Knots layered tags. Um, this is uh, My Porch Prints as well from that kit. And a little tag there. So that flips that away. And I've done a belly band here. This is one of the elements from the um, shabby grungy kit as well. And we've got some papers there and some vintage music paper. So it's just like a belly band. Artie Mays ticket, but that's all you can see of it now. Um, tag from the shabby grungy kit and a filled knots layered tag from Tracy Fox. So that goes there. Then here we have a big pocket and that's uh, the paper, the background papers from, oh, the ice cream van, can you hear that? <laughs> it's quarter past four, it's dark outside and the ice cream van's coming down the street. <laughs> anyway, um, field knots layered tag and that is the background papers, like I was saying, and tags from, that is a good kit, it's a good, um, you get a lot in the kit. You get the TN pages, you get background pages, you get pockets, tags, journal cards, um, lots of things. Little booklet that I made, just with some coffee dyed paper. And these were journal cards. Um, not sure if that's how they were meant to be used, but that's how I've used them. And that's one of the elements from the kit as well. So onto the journal, it's blank inside and I've just added the some of the tags that I've made. So that's one of the tags from the kit, not the tags, the page. This is one of the tags that I think I made on camera last night because I made three and then I made two afterwards. And I can't remember which ones I made on the video or not. So that's that. There's coffee dyed paper, plenty of room to journal. This is the old design shop, Bohemian Crafting, dictionary page, Edith Holden, the old design shop, the shabby grungy, and that's, I think, I made this one last night, I think. Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, it was only last night, I can't remember. So we've got layers again, tickets from Artie Mays, 
these are artimes the butterflies are artimes and then we've got all the cheesecloth there so the ice cream van is parked right outside the front of my house which my shed is at the front of ours um so you'll probably hear all the kids shouting for what they want now off the ice cream van um time this well didn't i uh center of the signature one of the pages from the tn kit more coffee dyed papers another tag that i made this one's document and all the cheesecloth the ticket from Artie Mays that's from Artie Mays that's a freebie and we've got the butterfly with the bling on there and this is from the shabby grungy kit we have a little flip there and a glued something it's not like me is it uh, Edith Holden and what I did I folded that back so that you've got a tuck there then we've got the dictionary page another flip and another flip there. Another tag, which I made. Sorry about that, it got really loud and I had to stop. Anyway, I um, can't remember if I showed this tag or not, but this was one of the tags that I made. Uh, little Artie Mays ticket there, uh, Artie Mays word, uh, Artie Mays butterfly. And this is a tag fabrication tag and right onto the other flippy bit so here is just a little tag as a topper and a tracy fox field knots layered tag and another tag there and another tag there's all full of tags 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 then here we have a side tuck and we have my frame yes i am uh journal card and then these two pieces which are from the um, shabby grungy kits and in here we have another field notes layer tag this is from the kit as well so I just pop that on there and two field notes layered tags I didn't put a tag on that because it would cover a bit of this and I like that I like the look of that and in uh, with that kit, you actually get the little pieces that you can fussy cut out and you could like put them on cardstock and maybe glossy accent them or something like that or emboss them to make them look like more real. <laughs> another tag, another little booklet. So there is plenty of room to journal. That flips. Oops, let's flip that back in. And the back is just plain with this lovely paper. So there we go. So, like I said, this will be listed in my shop if you're interested. And I will hopefully, I did say on my video last night that I hate making plans because when I make plans or something happens and I end up having to change things or not do things, but I'm really hoping I can do another live tomorrow night and show you just like how to construct one of these it's not not my idea it's just i'm just going to do it in a video and have a chat with you so so um have a good evening and i will speak to you all soon bye